I just wanted to take one minute to close the loop here a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm actually only semi-literate in Unity, Unity, so apologies for that, but um, in 4.3 there is now a certain level of support for um, 2D build in, so I wanted to uh, just show real quick and take some of the assets that, oops, wrong, uh, some of the assets that Mike generated there and, and showed you and take that into the latest version of Unity and <clears throat> show you how easy it is to take these image sequences that Android Studio generates and utilize them in a 2D project. So they all came in um, as sprites already. You can see up there, nuts because uh, when I made this project, I said this is supposed to be a 2D game. So it kind of set up the presets um, so that there are sprites that it makes. And if I select all of those and then do a little tag here, we only identify that and hit apply. So it generated a sprite now. Let me save this. And it's a .anim file. Uh huh. It makes a .anim file that goes with the images that I imported. And if I now hit play in game mode, then you can see that I didn't set up the camera properly. <laughs> but apart from that, you can see that this walk cycle that was in the image sequence that Mike exported, that that is now a sprite in Unity. It has a sprite renderer. It has the animator. So you can now drive this and you can get different sequences in obviously that you made in Enemy Studio and then you can just mix and match them together and try them whenever. And that's a single mesh with a uh, flipbook material on it, right? Yes, and let me see, I actually earlier on managed to preview that. On I haven't looked at any other two pieces. have some tools too that make the mesh per frame and just do so that you don't run into overdraw problems for, for game speed. Uh, yeah, I, I think you can turn the turn the active faces into mesh. Um, it did that, and I had it up earlier, <laughs> and it actually showed me the underlying mesh, but I can't remember now how I got there. Uh, so turn, switch it from texture to wireframe texture. See if that does it. Um, that up, would be upper left hand underneath. Uh, yeah, right there. So this is texture. Mm -hmm. Click on that. Got a wire, textured wire. Ha! Huh, here we go. There it is. All yeah. right. Oh, okay. You do textured wire too there. But it figures out the bounding area for you. Right. So you don't get, you know, you don't lose speed in the transparent parts. Right. So now, is that mesh move you hit the play button again? Uh, oh, shoot. Uh, turn off, maximize on play. So, yeah, right there. Turn that, uh, turn it, all right. Turn it, you have to stop, stop it first. Yeah. It's not maximizing, he just didn't click on scene. Did what? It's not maximizing, he just didn't click on scene. Oh, okay, sorry. Unclick maximize. That's right, yeah. Yeah, unclick maximize, sorry, go back to game. Uh-huh. Unclick maximize, play. Now go over to game. Oh, while it's playing. Yeah. Here we go. Yes, it actually does it. Yeah, so that saves you a lot of speed. So, does it? Yeah, what Larry's alluding to. The overdraw is one of the worst things Layers. Right, but so the draws probably a lot faster than the draw full frame planes. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So that's why it does that. All right, so that pretty cool concludes the Anime Studio session.